Hey yo, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Joker850X and today's video is actually going to be a tip video. Five tips to be a better Xenoverse 2 player. Now, <clears throat> honestly, the first and most like logical step is going to be practice. In anything, to get good at it, you have to practice. If you don't play the game, if you don't practice, you're not going to get great. And that's one of the reasons why I fall behind in terms of... Um, pvp because i don't really practice and i um <clears throat> i don't have my back a's down i mean not a my back x attack my um uh, what is it called my back hit i don't have that down pack or my um perfect block if i had those things down i would be a way better xenoverse 2 player and when i do land them it's intentional but it's also kind of accidentally and so that's a huge problem when it comes to my play style it's kind of messy and honestly if i was to practice i would be a lot better so <clears throat> tip number two <sighs> perfect blocking this is going to be the most fundamental and literally the most important thing to do in this game. Block, but don't block too much because if you block for too long, it dwindles away at your stamina. And once your stamina is gone, you're open for attacks and pretty much you're screwing yourself because with no stamina, you're just gonna get wrecked for a little while. Sure, your stamina comes right back really quickly, but it's also dangerous because you're stunned for a while. And if you're fighting against a key character, that's 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 all in you a small window of opportunity to come in and destroy your health and you're pretty much screwed because their key attacks are super powerful <clears throat> or let's say a, 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 um a hand -hand combat fighter let's say they have something like Vegito spirit sword or blue hurricane or something of that nature those attacks does a lot of damage and if you're trapped in one of those you're pretty much screwed for that time frame i don't care what you say those attacks are really powerful and <clears throat> the only way to avoid it is to pay attention to your stamina so stamina is by far the most important stat in this game whether you want to believe that or not if you have stamina and you can outlast your opponent with stamina, you can win any fight. And it's, honestly, it's fairly simple to do that. But most people want to be vampires or they want to be specific to one fight and style. No one really wants to just focus on stamina. But if they did that, they wouldn't have a problem. So, <clears throat> tip number three. Tip number three is going to be to learn how to back hit. If you can time your back hits, no one can get away from you. Everyone's initial initial reaction to being attacked is to um, tap A, and if they tap A, what they're gonna do? They're gonna teleport behind you with the um, uh, Z vanish or whatever you wanna call it. Once they do that, they're they're open to attack you, and you're open because your back is turned. But if you can learn how to back hit, they can't get that easy little combo in on you because once once they teleport behind you you have a window opportunity to hit them and start with another combo and if you can master it and time it perfectly you can constantly do this and every time that person teleports out of one combo you can just turn around smack them and start it over again <clears throat> now something i've noticed is that a lot of players once they teleport now because back hitting has become such a fundamental key move in um, dragon ball universe 2 they uh they dash back a little bit so that way they don't get hit by that and me personally if i was to um press a and teleport out of a combo what i'm gonna do i'm gonna fly around them from like towards this way and um fly towards them and use my y attack so that way i can send them down and throw them off their their game for a little bit but with that that puts a distance between me and the person i'm firing which is dangerous for both of us too dangerous for me because well, if I have no stamina, I could potentially be screwed. And for a person, that could not give them a fresh reset. So, <clears throat> either way, it's, it's, so it's something that you need to learn how to do to save you. And to, honestly, I'm going to be 100% honest. All my fights have been lost in Xenoverse 2 because I don't back it. Or I, I don't um <clears throat> back X, whatever you want to call it. Back hits are so important, and it's really difficult to get out of it. Even if, even if you're trying to fly away, it's still hard to get away from. I've noticed this with um, my Saiyan character and me fighting other Saiyans. 
When I try to dash away from it, like I was saying earlier, I try to fly away and come back around and hit him with a wild attack. When I try that, somehow I still get caught by their back kick. And it's like I, they hit me and they pull me in and I'm just stuck in that combo. And then I find myself wasting more stamina, which leads to me losing. That is very dangerous. And that's something that I need to try to learn how to avoid. And something other cat, other people should learn how to avoid. Because, again, if you can avoid these things, those are costly mistakes that can cost, win you a match. <clears throat> I think I'm on number three. Number three. Um, no, I'm on number four. Number four. All right, the fourth tip is going to be um, learn how to Z vanish. So not Z vanish. Uh, yeah, Z vanish. If you can Z vanish, you can kind of throw your opponents off. You can you can psych them out. You can feel them out. And you can get them understanding of their play style or how, they, how they're going to attack and approach you. And by doing this, you're pretty much... Every, by, by now, everyone knows how to Z-Vanish in Dragon Ball Universe. It's something that everyone's trying to do. And if they don't know how to do it, then you know they're up to do it. And you should probably just troll them with it anyway. But <clears throat> if you don't Z-Vanish, it's it's not something that's game-breaking or running or killing you. It's it's more so a technique to help you stay on your A-game or help you stay ahead of you. Um, your enemy because one it doesn't use stamina so it's very useful and two by z vanishing around your opponent <clears throat> like i said it throws them off their game and it can set you up for more things so the last combo and i'm sorry with all the sniffling i have a cold and it's really bad so the last tip is going to be um <clears throat> pay attention to your opponent now here's my thing with that when you're playing Dragon Ball Universe, there are different races in the game, and some people just, they, they use the characters in the game, because they prefer not to see their character taking off, which is understandable. So with certain characters, you have to understand certain framing, so that way you can learn how to perfect guard that, a perfect rock this, and the best way to do that, honestly, is to go into training and learn how each character fights. And it's literally just that simple. If you go into training, you have a it's there to help you out. But if this video helped you guys, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And as always, with your boy Joker850X, and I'll see you guys in the next one.